Hi, I'm Charlie Davies of the New England Revolution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to whisper? Do the Teal Bunbury, the Teal Bunbury whisper. Hi, I'm Teal Bunbury. Hi, I'm Charlie Davies of the New England Revolution, and this is NHS TV. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning, NHS. Today is Monday, October 26, and it is an S3 day. The SAT where the day is induced means to bring about our cause. On today's update, we have a very special interview about Friendship Club, so sit back and relax because NHS update begins right now. Good morning, Mustangs. Welcome to the show. I'm Chris Sheehan. And I'm Alessandra Veron. There will be a Mustang Mentors meeting today. Attendance is mandatory. Please see Ms. Cohn if you cannot attend. And the first Gay Straight Alliance meeting will start. We'll meet today after school in the guidance office. Also, today e the Equal Rights Club will meet in Ms. Uppencamp's room in room 323. This week's discussion topic is media bias. All girls interested in playing powder puff should bring their t-shirt money in and sign up with Mrs. Glynn. Long sleeve t-shirts are $15 and the deadline order is November 2nd. Any boys interested in leading the cheerleading squad and would also like a shirt may also order from Mrs. Glynn. Framingham State will be visiting on Monday while Mass Bay Community College will be visiting on Thursday. See your guidance counselor for a pass. The NHS cl Chess Club will meet Wednesdays after school in room 218. Students and staff, whether beginner or expert, are welcome. For more info, see Mr. O'Connor in room 218. Seniors and parents are invited to attend the MEFA College Finance Night on Wednesday, November 4th at 6.30 in the NHS Auditorium. Confessions of a Depressed Comic, an evening with Kevin Briel, also followed by a panel discussion, will be held Wednesday, November 4th at the Norwood Theatre, 109 Central Street at 7.30, free to the public. The 29th annual running of the Turkey Trot will be held on Sunday, November 22nd here at the high school. Registration forms are available online. Run sign up or see Mrs. Glynn for a form. Any students that would rather volunteer instead of running should also see Mrs. Glynn. The Junior Senior Semi-Formal Dance Dinner will be held at the Sheraton Four Points on Tuesday, November 10th from 7 until 11 p.m. Tickets are available now at the cost of $55 each. See Mr. Sweeney in the Dean's Office to purchase tickets. Now over to Ronnie Marshallsey with an interview about the Friendship Club. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm here with Mrs. Kelly and Paul Radikas. Now, Paul, you have a special event today. Can you tell me a little bit about it? There's this Texas Roadhouse me and Mrs. Kelly did last year. And we did some line dancing. We had a good time with all the um, we all the line dancing. The, all the yeah, the wait the wait staff. It was fun. So yeah, if you guys can come out tonight from four o'clock until close, even takeout if you can't actually stay, we're gonna be there. We're gonna be eating, of course. And uh, fifteen percent of all proceeds go to the Friendship Club. We have Friendship Club this uh, coming Thursday. And um, also bring a couple extra dollars. They have a big basket with a gift certificate to raffle and all kinds of goodies. And uh, looking for volunteers to man that table, by the way, all evening. So come and see me in room 274 if you can. Well, that's it. And uh, now back to the desk. Be sure to go out and support the Friendship Club today at the Texas Roadhouse. 15% off of all purchases go to the club. There will be raffles and a line dancing for those who want to strut their stuff. See Miss Kelly for details. Congratulations to the marching band this weekend competitions, placing first out of 20 bands on Saturday with a 93-3 winning captain awards for best music, best guard, as well as five stars across the board for Goodell Medal and Micah finals this weekend. Now it's time for Brian Curley and your sports update. Good morning, Mustangs. On Friday, the girls' soccer team got their first win in two years with a 3-2 win over Ursline with two goals from Kaylin Gonsalves and one from Kate Brinkelow. Here's the game-winning goal. What's up? What's up? Come on, where's the Come on, Blue! Two, two, Sticker! Sticker! Oh, oh, oh! Goal! Oh, 
The girls' next game is tomorrow. Well, the football team lost to Natick on Saturday, 20 to 17, on a last-minute touchdown. But they qualify for tournament, getting the number eight seed, and they will play the number one seed, Milton, on Friday night. The cheerleading team came in third in the co-ed division yesterday at their competition. And at the twilight meet on Saturday, Fiona Jordan and Danny Curley led the cross-country team. For games today, the volleyball team has Brockton at home in the gym at five. Well, that's all I have for today. Now back to the desk. Well, that wraps up another episode of NHS TV. Thanks for watching.